Hey everybody, I'm Bob Kelly and welcome to Kelly Drives. Each week we jump in the car and check out some of the cool places in our area. First up, we're going to take a trip to an old time rodeo and flea market. Come on, let's go! I found a rodeo the kids are going to love. It's less than a half an hour from the city. Can't go looking like a city slicker. Come on, I got to get me some boots. I'm going to go to the rodeo. I got to look the part. This looks way too big. Suzanne, can you help me? This is way too big. It really is, Bob. This is a 10-gallon hat instead of a 6-gallon hat. Yeah, it doesn't fit you no? at all. Okay, how about, let me see what, how about this one here. So this one definitely fits better. Is it more comfortable? Yes. Awesome. You look great. This is a cool spot. How long have you been here? Oh, we've been here since 1958. So I'm going to the rodeo. Right. Okay. I got to get rid of the city slick look. You do? Yes. We can help you. Can you help me? Absolutely. Let's, Let's get go. it on. Come on. <laughs> So let me show you some of the really great new designs that we have. Okay. We have some really great, vibrant Aztec prints. This pops. I love that shirt. It's brand You'll new. You see me coming in on the cow. Woo! Hey, pearl lady. Oh my, Bob, this looks amazing. <laughs> I mean, wow, what a great look for you. Got my Yellowstone belt buck on everything. That's right. Wow, so many styles sizes so over here we have boots in by color and then toe style so okay. if you'll notice one of the ones that we have a lot of are this one right in the middle sort of a narrow toe uh, it's not super pointy so i brought to you this brand new boot by durango it's the santa fe boot what i love about this boot is it's fully leather so a leather boot is great for dancing i can do my boot scoop and boot. <laughs> All right, I got my blanket, my saddle. Come on, Suzanne, let's go to the rodeo. I may have the outfit and the belt buckle, but this is the man with the plan right here. Grant, you're the main producer of the show. How long have you been doing this? Well, all my life. Original attraction here was the livestock market. They started putting on rodeos on an annual basis for a county fair, started spreading that out a little bit. They put on their first rodeo in 1929. This is a great treat for the kids. I've never been to one like this before. I can't wait to bring Austin over here. And we feature all the professional standard rodeo events, bareback bronc riding, saddle bronc riding, bull riding, calf roping, steer wrestling, team roping, and uh, a new event, cowgirls breakaway roping. How's the crowds been up? Crowds have been outstanding. We've been a selling out. If you're going to buy your tickets here, which is actually save you a couple bucks, um, buy here at the at the rodeo. You need to come early. And this just isn't it. We got the whole farmers market. We have the farmers market. That's every Tuesday and Saturday. The farmers market also was a evolution of capitalizing on the crowd that came to the old livestock auction. A uh, farmer pulled in one day, had a, a wagon load of harness to sell and asked my granddad, was that all right? And he said, yeah, pull over out of the way somewhere and see how you get along. At the end of the day, the guy, the farmer came over to my granddad, handing him a $5 bill, and Grandpa said, what's this for? He said, well, I sold all my harness, feel like I owe you something. What kind of stuff can you, can you pick up in here? Collectibles, used tools and junk. A lot of food, uh, fruits and vegetables, and normal consumer goods, from, from ladies' accessories to Clothing, sneakers, you name it. Come on down to Cowtown! Cow